Hi everyone, have a good day in our series of analysis of novels, plays and poems. We are going to be discussing another African play today titled I Will Marry When I Want by Ungugiwan Tiongo and Ungugiwan Miri. The play is co-written, co-authored by two playwrights, which is uh, one Tiongo and one Miri. And we are going to be discussing the plot of the play. And at the same time, we are going to analyze the art and the scenes of the play. So, the play I Will Marry When I Want is a Guki play, co-written by Ugugiwan Tiongo and Ugugiwan Miri. And it was first published in Kenya in 1977. The story depicts a farmer who is tricked into risking his land due to social and religious pressures. So the prominent theme in the in the play, the prominent theme in the play, I think, uh, is uh, that of a uh, hypocrisy. Yes, hypocrisy is dominant in the in the play and also corruption and their religious uh, exploitation is also very dominant in it so the production of the play is widely believed to be the root of uh, the detention of Miu Gugiwan Miri and Gugiwan Tiogo in 1977 and they were later released in 1978 when um, President Kenyatta died and then Dane Torichi Arab Moy took over the leadership of uh, the Kenyan government. So we are going to start the plot now. Uh, the play opens at the modest home of a poor couple, Kikunda and Wangeshi, and they are busy preparing their homes to receive wedding visitors. So who are the wedding visitors that we are planning to receive? We have Kikunda, uh, we have Koi. Kikunda and Wangeshi we are planning to receive um, Koi and then uh, his wife. So we saw that um, they are busy preparing their home to receive wedding visitors, and then their beautiful yet superficial daughter is dating John Muhumi. John Muhumi is the son of a uh, Koi and then uh, his wife Jezebel. So Kikunda has a deed to one and a half acre of land framed on the wall purchased after the revolution that brought Kenya its independence. So we saw that Kikunda is very proud of his asset of one and a half acres of land and then it represents the financial security of his family. Unfortunately, okay, let's continue and you will see what happened. Now, they are visited by the friends. One of the friends that visited him was a Gikamba and Ujoki. Note that, um, I'm explaining the play uh, in detail as I read it. So what is on the screen, I'm not uh, uh, reading it verbatim. So please, you listen to what I'm explaining, and at the same time, you read the writing on the screen. So the before the coming of Koi's, they have visitors, which is Gikamba and Unjoki. Gikamba is very politically involved, and he is superficial. And he is very, very critical of the wealthy and of the Western powers that he believes collaborate with the rich to oppress the Kenyan masses. So it's a very, it's a political and sorry, it's a political analyst. And then he has is more informed than Gikunda and his wife Wangishi, and even most of the masses in Kenya at that time. He believes that the the elites in Kenya we are working in collaboration with the super powers or the colonial powers and then oppressing them oppressing them and denying them their right so we saw that uh the Kamba is also unhappy about the influence of western religion notably christianity which are beginning to push out the traditional kenyan religion and culture and you can see also uh, because of my knowledge of uh, some of the African texts, I can see a relationship between this uh, the campus uh, behavior and the behavior of Okonkwa in the uh, Chinua uh, things fall apart because Okonkwa and Chinua things fall apart also was concerned about the spread of Christianity. 
and then the, 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 the rejection of traditional religion by the people. So we saw that Gikamba and Ujabu leave, and then the wedding guests, which Wangeshi and Gikumba we expected, came. They arrived. We have Koi Muhumi and his wife Jezebel. Then um, Koi Muhumi once wishes to purchase the half, the one and a half acres of land which belong to Gikunda, and then his wife also, that is the wife of Koi Muhumi which is uh, Jezebel, also encourages him to purchase the land because he wanted to use the land to build a factory at that time. So, Gikunda worries that Koi will bring up the land issue again. But he said, Koi did not even bring any issue of the land. Rather, Koi was more concerned about uh, making or Christianize the marriage between Wangeshi and uh, Gikunda. Because the marriage they did was traditional marriage, so they call in them, encourage them to do uh, Western or Christian marriage, so that uh, um, uh, they will be accepted by the Christian body. So after Koi and the others leave, however, Gikunda and Wangeshi discuss matters and decide that if they were to marry in the Christian church, Koi will have no objection to his son. John marrying their daughter one uh, uh, Gituna. Yes, Gituna. That is the, the name of their daughter. Though John was dating the daughter, and then the daughter also was not so somebody who is very, very hardworking. Rather, he was just gallivanting and rigmaroling with uh, John Muhumi, and then he would spend weeks with John Muhumi. And when Mombasa, when John Muhumi would take her, take her of her outing and then they spend a week without the consent of the father or the parents so they believe that okay if the wedding is conducted if the wedding between Gikunda and Wangeshi is Christianized or performed again in Christian way the Koi will accept uh, his, his son John to marry uh, uh, Gituda which is the daughter of Gikunda so we saw that Gikunda uh, and Wangeshi go to Koi and Jezebel's house. They were not welcome. But when they brought the issue of their intention to formalize or to Christianize their, uh, their marriage, they were welcome. They were welcome. And then um, he, he, he requested for, for money to board for Koi to borrow him money, but he Koi refused. Telling him that uh, he cannot borrow his money, he should get a loan from the bank. And then Koi was the one who made the arrangement for the loan. And then Gikunda used the deed of his one and a half acres of land as collateral to get the loan. So when he got the loan, all the money was spent, expended on their marriage. That is the Christianization of the marriage between Wangeshi and uh, um, Gikunda. So after that, we saw that Gatoni returns home, and then he informed his per he informed her parents that she's now pregnant for John Muhumi. So Kikunda and Wangeshi now went back to the house of Koi and Jezebel, informing him or informing the family that uh, their son has impregnated the, the their daughter Gatoni. But they were not welcome. They were insulted. They were in fact assaulted as well, and then. Uh, Koi did not see anything wrong with what his son John Muhumi did by impregnating the daughter of uh, Wangeshi and Gikunda. So we saw that uh, the the final scene, I think, yes, the final scene, okay, the final scene jump a bit into the future where Gikunda has survived the shooting. So in the bit of argument, why Gikunda was angry that, okay, why would they have so impregnated the, their daughter Gatoni and yet they don't want their son to marry Gatoni. Then it even talked to a fight and then one day she came with a police, a security detail and then they shot, uh, sorry, Jezebel came with security detail and then um, Gikunda was shot. But however, Gikunda survived the shooting and then, but Koi caused the loan to be called in early. Even before the time for the loan to be remitted was not yet, has not yet come. But 
call in and make arrangement with the bank, which is the bank in and put pressure on the Gikunda to pay the money. And then Gikunda was working in the company belonging to Koi. Then Koi also sacked him. So there is no any means of income that he will be able to repay the loan now. So the money, the, the, the loan, they have to collect the land as collector for the loan. And then the land was collected. So when the land was collected, the Kunda has nothing left. The Kunda and Wang Gishi began to quarrel, frustration, depression, everything. And their daughter is also pregnant. So the Kunda has to give himself to, to drunkenness. He became so drunk, drinking anyhow, not minding whatever happens again, was disturbed. And then, in fact, he believed that his life has almost uh, ended. And their fight is always, his, his fight with his wife is always, uh, almost every day. So Gikamba tried to calm them down, telling them that they should not fight each other, but rather they should fight the men like Koi and the powers that have joined with the wealthy to oppress and harm the, the good people of Kenya. So this inspires Gikunda and Wangeshi, and the group began to think about waking up and fighting back against those who have hurt the country. So they announced that the poor have reached a breaking point and that the trumpet of the masses has been blown. So they are calling for revolution and then the politics on the display in the play are not subtle and decry the foreign influence that was seen to be changing Kenya, turning it away from its traditional route. So we also saw that the ruling class is portrayed as capitalist, vampires, living off the poor. So the clear call for a revolution at the end of the play, I believe, was the one that prompted the arrest of Ubugiwan Tiogo and Ubugiwan uh, Miri at the end of the play. So at the end of the play, Kikunda lost all, Wangeshi almost lost all, no peace at home. And I swear there is no new property and there is no money. So almost everything that they got, they lost it because they want to Christianize their religion, uh, their marriage, and then they do not benefit anything from it. So how can you judge this issue? Can you say their challenges or their problem is caused by their intention to Christianize their uh, their marriage, or caused by their intention to do a Christian marriage? or is caused by the political elite who are so corrupt like people like a uh, coin then i'm expecting your comments please uh, respond and then tell us what do you think is the problem of gikunda and wangeshi caused by their intention to do christian marriage or their problem was caused because of their uh, because of the political class the capitalist such as coin who were bent on taking the land to build a factory. Thank you and uh, have a good day.